Pets. Kids get bored without pets, and especially when they have no one to play with. Well, pets are fun, and if there was no fun in the world, what's the point of life? So I think it it, it would be important for kids to have pets. This is Benji and he's dog Patch. What? How long is? How long has you had Patch? Six years. What? What? What is Patch's personality? He has a phobia of water and he's he loves to play and he's kind of a wuss. He he won't stop if you cuddle him. He'll want more and more. How much poop does he make in a day? About seven. Well. <laughs> what type of pets do you have? I have a rabbit and a dog. What's your rabbit's name? Pinky. And the dogs? Archie. Uh, I have two dogs and their name is Princess and Bulk and they are chihuahuas and they're happy and they're good to play with. Archie. Here's a dog. I am here to talk about my cat. Well, it's really my sister's cat, but I feed it every night. They wake me up every morning. Lick me in the face. Well, there's Garfield. He's a cat. And there's Emily Ann. That's his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is Pinky, and she's a very shy rabbit. He's still really shy. We've taken him out once, but he doesn't usually. He just runs around, basically. They don't eat a lot, and they're very easy to look after. The other two uh, is Princess. That's a dog, and uh, Dusty. Named after the singer, Slim Duck. <laughs> my pet personality. Well, everyone reckons I look like my dog. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very wussy cat. It it has a phobia for cars. You can you can tell when someone's here because he just barks and barks and barks. Don't stop or jump. Even. Garfield, he doesn't do much all day. He just eats and likes to lay in the lounge room watching the TV with his feet in the hair. The cat what, has, hasn't got very good eyesight. She walks into walls and 24 hours a day. He's aggressive against people he does not know. Yeah, he, he is not a very active cat. She eats one can of cat food each night. The favourite thing I do with my pets? Well, I play football with my dog. I, I chase my dog, play. He chases me the way I play. Hide the seat, chase him. Fun to play with. Getting chased by him. And uh, from tennis ball and playing games. And I pet them cats. As for the dogs. I like walking them and taking them to the park. She, when we let her out, she runs around and hides underneath when she finds when people come out. And um, I pace up, um, I say, jump in this trampoline. They're really nice and soft and cuddly. And yeah, they sometimes understand how you feel.
Next, we are going to the pet shop and the ranges. We are at Planet Pet and Aquarium. Chris, how long have you been working? 13 years. What animals do you see? We start with the furries. We've got um, dogs, cats, mice, rabbits, guinea pigs. Go on to the fish. We have your Mexican walking fish, your tropical, your goldfish, birds, and of course reptiles, which we have your stimson python, your carpet python, frogs, and also bearded dragons. How many dogs would you sell in a year? Uh, we average about one dog a day, so about say three six dogs. Hmm. Would you like to show us a, a few of the animals? I uh, will. Would you like to have a look at the reptiles? Yes, please. Now we are looking at the southwest carpet python. Isn't that like a hole? Okay, these are hand-reared sun conyers. Um, they make really good pets. They love playing. They like playing dead. Come very attached. To you. <laughs> they love ears. <laughs> oh, he says, "I love your ears." <laughs> Next, we're going to look at the guinea pigs. Is that cute? And they're cuddly. And you can hold them. Any pet's good. The most important thing to remember with rabbits is that their teeth continually grow, so they must eat, have wood to chew on, otherwise it's regular trips to the vets. Another type of pet you can get is fish. Thank you. Thanks for showing us all the animals. Thank you for letting us And now we're going to the count. We're at the Calgary Dog Pound and we're going to ask some questions to the ranger. What do you do with the dogs that don't have owners? Uh, we try finding the owners, and if we can't find the owners, what we do is we put them on the notice board out there. See how you've seen the photos? And then people come in and they adopt them. So they go to a good home. You like working with dogs? Yeah, I like finding dogs at homes, knowing that they're going to a good family. Seeing kids like you smile. <laughs> 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 this, this one's been found and handed in to us as well. Yeah. People um, keep them at their house and they'll give us a call yeah. and we'll go down and pick their dogs up Fair and then bring them back here. So we just basically collect the dogs and then just rehouse them. So it's up to whoever picks them up to do the rest. Are we allowed to have a look at the dog that day? Yeah, we can do that. So what's uh, we're in the pound where we keep all the dogs. Oh, these are all our cages. Uh, we don't take the dog home, the owners do. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so if any of you guys want a new dog, come down to the pound and we'll get you a great dog. Free. No, not for free, but we'll get you Wait, a good dog. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thanks, mate. See no you. worries. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. All right, guys, all right. you have a good day. Thanks, bro. All right. I think it's important for all human beings to have pets because it's been scientifically proven, especially with elderly people, as they grow old and they, have, they suffer certain illnesses, pets are great companions for them. And I think they're great companions for all humanity. We, hello, we are at Planet Pet and Aquarium. To, no. That's okay. Look at my dogs. Okay. At my house. Nothing is. Look at nothing. My pets, my dogs, my cats. I'd say a dog. <laughs> <laughs>